Hello everybody, Andrew Majeski here with Dental L. I'm going to show you guys how to use the water pick, or it doesn't even have to be the water pick um, um, brand per se. Um, the water uh, flosser overall, they are excellent. So let me just show you guys how to use it because the first time I had used it, it was intense. I was actually very surprised at how much water came out and it made a mess everywhere. Even if you look at the manual that comes with it, it does tell you A, don't look in the mirror while you're using it, probably because if you're doing this, it will go all over the mirror and it tells you to lean over the sink. Well, I did lean over the sink and I didn't look in the mirror. It still made a huge mess. It was intense. So I wanna kinda of teach you guys how to use it properly. So. Um, this is the one that I got here. I will leave the link for you guys on the bottom. I like this one because it's tinier. You can get a counter um, unit that basically has a much larger um, water container, but it would have to sit on your counter or put it under the sink. Well, the less I have in the house, the better. So I had opted for a portable one because it just kind of stands on your counter like this and you can put it underneath the sink too um, and all you do is you open up this little thing here to fill up the water that's it this one does take batteries i believe it's three triple a batteries but i prefer the ones that are rechargeable when i bought this one i didn't know there was such a thing as rechargeable water picks i don't know why but i just got this one and when this um when this one dies i will probably buy another one that is rechargeable because it's just easier right but let me show you guys how to use it so i'm going to use this little guy here okay because he has teeth and he has a mouth, which is important to kind of show you guys how to use it. If I try to show you on myself, it might be kind of hard. So the first thing to do is obviously fill up, fill up the water. Don't turn it on until you have it inside the mouth and close your lips around it. So let's just say you want to do this, okay? Now he doesn't have lips, okay? So but close your lips around it. So I'll, I'll, I'll actually show you with, with mine. So kind of do this, okay? So pick a spot where you want to start. Um, I just usually start at the back and then close your lips around it. So like this, see you guys? So close your lips around it. I can't say that enough. If you don't, you will make a huge mess. You will be trying to turn it off, but you won't know how because you're not used to it yet, okay? So go inside the mouth, and I like to use the water pick when I'm in the shower because it's going to still make a mess. You can lean over the sink and do it, but that takes practice. So turn it off. Put it inside the mouth and then turn it on, okay? So I'm not gonna turn it on because then it's just gonna spray everywhere. But the one that I have has a low power setting. Here, let me just put this guy down. A low power setting and a high. Low is still pretty good. I was probably using the low power setting for a good couple days until I got used to it. And then I did feel that low might be a little bit too low. So then I did, um, then I did switch to high but put it inside the mouth before you change that knob. And then you just have to go along the teeth like this, okay? Don't do it too quickly because I don't feel like that would help. So kind of sit right in, right in between the teeth where the gum and the tooth comes together for a couple seconds and then move over to the next one. A couple seconds, move over to the next one. A couple seconds, move over to the next one. Because if you go too quickly, it's not going to really help, right? And um, what I find a lot of people do is they will put the water pick in the mouth, but still too far. So if you're trying to use the water pick like out here, it's going to get water everywhere. So make sure to touch the actual tooth um, where the tooth and the gum come together right in between and go along that way along the gum line okay so does that make sense to everybody i find with this one i can use the whole 
um, I can do the top teeth and the bottom teeth with only um, with not having to change the, um, the water but when I first started using it I was a little bit you know it took me some time to get used to it so I probably had to switch out the water a couple times but that's okay it's so much easier to have a portable one and do all of the outside teeth so obviously a lot slower but do all of the outside teeth right top and the bottom with practice you can do the inside too so it does also help to do the inside teeth because that just helps you get things as clean as possible, right? So if you guys have any questions, let me know. I love the water pick. I probably use the water pick after I eat all the time because there's always something stuck in there. Um, it just helps to get that good overall clean. Um, I have some patients that tell me, um, I'm not going to use the floss ever, okay? Just so you know that's okay use this because i was reading an article that was done in 2018 and studies have actually shown this seems to work better than using the string okay so if this works better we're happier as a dental hygienist the patient's happier because we're happier and it's just easier to clean their teeth it's a win-win for everybody so i will leave the link for you guys on the bottom Check it out. If you don't like it, take it back, but you will love it. Trust me, you will want to use it all the time. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys have questions, let me know, and I'll see you in the next one.